Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a really chill, laid back, kind of chit chat, get ready with me. And in today's video, we are going to be using the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty Palette. I am very, very excited to use this. I have not really done any looks with this yet, so I figured in this video we could kind of like dive in and play around with these colors, which I am very, very excited for. I have absolutely no idea what kind of look I'm going for today or what I'm trying to accomplish here, but we're just gonna kind of sit down, talk, play with makeup, and have a good time. This is my first time filming in a couple weeks because I was at the Carnival of Chaos Music Festival, which I am going to talk a little bit about in this video, and just what I've been up to and things like that. I am very sunburnt still, as you can see, I'm pretty much red all over. So since I've already moisturized, I'm going to go in with a little bit of primer, and the primer I'm going to be using is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business, and I'm going to be using the color Neutralizing one. This has a little bit of like a green tinge to it, because what the green does is it basically cancels out all the redness, so all the redness you see on my cheeks and on my face and all that stuff, I'm just going to apply that all over so we have a nice even base and this will also really help our makeup apply over top of everything really, really flawlessly. So yeah, like I said, this is my first time filming after a couple weeks and this is also my first week back to like reality and getting back into the swing of things like getting back into working all the time again and paying bills and all that other annoying shit so it's been kind of an adjustment I really struggle now you guys will have to let me know if you're the same but I'm someone who really struggles with trying to adjust after having like a fun weekend or like going on vacation or anything like that whenever I come back to like real life it takes me like a week or two to like readjust is anyone else like that like is it just me let me know down below because I just I just always freaking struggle with all of this kind of stuff. So next, moving on to foundation. There are two that I really want to use today, and I think I'm going to mix both of them. The first one is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is an M15, which is buff beige. It is a little bit on the darker side, which is perfect because I have a little bit of a tan going on. I've been really, really liking this foundation. I did do a first impressions on this, if any of you guys are curious. So I'm going to use a little bit of this, and I'm also going to use some of the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Just looks like this. The reason why I'm mixing these two is because this NARS foundation unfortunately breaks me out really, really bad. I do really like this foundation and I do really enjoy this foundation, but the amount of breakouts that it gives me, whoo, oh my gosh, like my skin has, as you guys can see, my skin looks really, really good. I don't think it's looked this good in a very long time. So I'm kind of nervous to use this. So I'm just going to use like a little tiny bit of it, like that much. And then the other two pumps I'm going to take from the CoverGirl like that. And I'm just going to kind of mix it with my finger. And then to blend everything out, I'm going to be using this Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. I think I got this at like Walmart or something like that. I absolutely love Real Techniques. Blah, blah, I can't talk. Real Techniques brushes. I think they're really good, both for the face and the eyes. They're amazing. So if you ever hit up Walmart or Target, anything like that, I highly recommend checking out these brushes because they're amazing. And when I use a brush, I kind of like to mimic the beauty blender motion. I don't like to swipe. I kind of like to pat my foundation in. I just feel like you get more coverage that way and you get less of a brush stroke that way as well. So I'm just kind of buffing this in all over the skin. So I don't know why it's making me look more pale on camera because in person it like matches perfectly but for some reason on camera it's coming off like really really pale so I'm just like just try to ignore that. I think I want to do like warm tones on the upper lid and then cooler tones on the bottom so I'm thinking like the yellows and you know like peachy red colors on top and then like the blues and the browns on the bottom so I don't know, we'll have to see. I am not an MUA, I am not a beauty guru, so it probably will turn out like shit, but you never know. We're just gonna, 
we're just gonna give it the good old college try. And if you guys remember not too long ago, I came out with my own Brie and Barbie phone case with Musetta cases. The first launch day was absolutely so successful, way more successful than I ever thought it was going to be. Like we sold quite a bit and we've raised, here let me just look it up so I can like tell you guys actual numbers. So in total we have raised $395.07 for charity. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, some of the proceeds that come from this phone case are going to the Colorectal Cancer Alliance which is a charity that I really want to donate to that basically researches cures for colon cancer or early screenings or ways to prevent it, things like that. So we've raised a ton of money for that and that makes me super, super happy. And since the first launch day, we only had four phone models available. We had the iPhone 6, the iPhone X, the Samsung Galaxy S8, and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. And obviously, many, many people out there have many different phone models, things like that. So since the first launch day was super, super successful, we really wanted to add more phone models. So we are actually going to be adding a few more and I will go ahead and tell you what those are. So the ones that we will be adding is for the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy S9, and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So we're adding an additional five models of this Brie and Barbie phone case to the website. If you guys want to know more about it, I will put a link down in the description box. Sorry it's a little bit fingerprinty because I literally use this case every single day. And if you want to know more about this phone case and like why I, the design that I chose and more about the company and things like that, I will also put a link to that video down in the description box. That way you guys can kind of get the full rundown on everything and know more about it. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. This is just one of the lightest shades that they have. And I'm just gonna be putting this underneath my eyes because my under eye bags pretty much scream that I was up till 3 a.m. last night watching Shark Week. Is anyone with me on that? Is it just me? Am I the only one who does that? Probably. Next, I'm going in with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder, and I'm just going to set everything that we just put on our face, because we really want, well, I really want a nice matte flawless face because our eyeshadow is going to be super dramatic. All right, and then next I'm going to bronze and do my blush before my eyebrows. I know that's kind of like a weird order to do things, but it's just what it's just what I've always done. I like to do my eyebrows after my bronze was on because I feel like when I do my eyebrows and then bronze my temples, I feel like it just kind of wipes my eyebrows away. So I'm just going to use my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm just going to bronze the usual areas of my face. So yeah, also in this video I wanted to just kind of talk about the Carnival of Chaos because a lot of people, as my channel is growing, a lot of people don't really understand what it is and they've never seen those vlogs before. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a really long time, you know exactly what it is and you've seen all the vlogs and all that good stuff. So basically what the Carnival of Chaos is, is it is a three, it's a three night, three day, three night <laughs> um, music festival where basically you camp out, you get wasted, and you basically hang around and support local rock bands and EDM bands in your area. Uh, Carnival of Chaos is something, as far as I know, it is something that only happens in my area because it was started by um, someone who runs a tattoo shop. So basically he kind of started the whole thing and it's been like a huge thing every single year. I've gone a total of four years. I went in 2015, 2016, 2017 and 2018 and every single year I have such a blast like it's literally it's literally one of those things where I look forward to because it's my one weekend to let loose not worry about my dogs not worry about work not worry about YouTube I can just completely let go have fun look however I want do whatever I want and it's just it's amazing I absolutely love it so yeah I went to that again um, we went Thursday and left Saturday night and for those of you wondering, my sister was watching my dogs. I didn't just like leave them abandoned in my apartment. Like they were totally fine and taken care of. Um, my sister stayed in my apartment for those days while I was gone. Uh, for the very first time ever, I wore a super crazy outfit. My outfit that I wore on Friday night, Friday the 13th, I wore my Harley Davidson boots, which are super expensive. Um, <laughs> so I wore my Harley Davidson boots. I wore a pair of fishnet underwear. 
and I had my little bra corset on and I had a set of pasties on covering my nipples. Other than that, everything was totally exposed. You could see my butt cheeks, you could see the outline of my boobs. And honestly, you guys, I have never felt more free in my entire life. Like that was such a liberating experience. Making drinks, doing whippets, half naked, like listening to rock music. It was it was amazing and I absolutely loved it. A lot of people, I had to disable comments on a lot of my pictures because a lot of people weren't being very nice. They were saying that I was trashy and I shouldn't be dressing like this if I'm on YouTube. First of all, I am not on YouTube to be a role model. I am literally just an everyday person who just happens to make YouTube videos, okay? I'm not looking to change the world. I'm not looking to shit rainbows and unicorns, okay? Like, I am gonna be 100% real, 100% upfront and honest. Like, if I'm gonna dress half naked at a music festival, you're gonna fucking bet I'm gonna dress half naked at a, mu at a music festival and not hide it from you guys. I think a lot of people don't understand the kind of YouTuber I am because you know all these other YouTubers they have such you know they I feel like they kind of censor themselves in a way whereas me is I just don't give a fuck like I'm gonna do what I want when I want how I want so that's just how it is and also another thing is people were asking me why I was doing whippets if you don't know what whippets are basically it's like um like that cleaner stuff that you clean keyboards with, you inhale it and it gives you a little bit of a high. Or if you've ever been to the dentist and you've had laughing gas, it's kind of like that. I forget the technical term for it, but a lot of people were saying, why would you do whippets? That's so illegal, da da da. First of all, in Michigan, whippets are not illegal. You can go to any head shop and buy a whole canister of whippets with the balloons or with the chicken. Like in Michigan, whippets are not illegal. I can literally go to the store and buy them. They are frowned upon because they are definitely not healthy for you. They're really, really bad for you and you could very easily die or damage your brain cells. But if I'm at Carnival of Chaos and someone has a whippet, I'm going to take it. Like, it's fun. It's a 10 second little high you get and then boom, you're done. Like, I'm not, don't try it at home, honestly, because it is definitely dangerous. It is not something I do on a daily basis. It's not something that I do when I go out all the time. Like, it is literally a one time a year thing. Like, it's just so, I just wanted to clarify that I wasn't doing anything illegal. Like, I can go and buy them at the store right now. Next, I'm going to do my blush. This is the Physicians Formula Happy Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. So I'm going to take some of this and just kind of warm up my cheeks a little bit. One of the bands that really stuck out to me that I really, really liked and really enjoyed was Metal Mafia. I don't know if any of you out there have heard of them, but holy shit, they killed it. And what was the other band? They've been there like every single year I've been there. I think they're called Kill Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. They were awesome. I saw Six Prong Paw. They were really good. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows really quick. All right, now we can move on to the eyes. First, I'm going to prime my eyes, which I haven't done in a very long time. But for that, I'm just going to be using my MAC Paint Julie Paint Pot. And I'm just going to put a very little, little bit of this on... Oh, this is really hard to do with nails. I've never had this issue before. Ah! Oh, it's under my nail. Oh, that's so uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll scrape some with my nail and kind of disperse that between both eyes, I guess. That was really weird. I've never had that issue before. And then again, I'm still trying to get used to having, like, nails. Which, I need to get them redone because literally the gel on my thumbs has completely, like, come off. Okay, now we are ready to dive into the eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So if you guys remember in one of my vlogs, I recently unboxed this and showed it on camera. And I swatched a few of them and literally these eyeshadows all feel like butter. So I'm very, very anxious to dive into this and get started. So I think just to put a base shadow down, I think I'm going to go in with this top shade right here. And this is called Parched. So I'm going to take a decent amount of this and just kind of sweep this all over the eyelid. That way the rest of the eyeshadows that we do apply will kind of easily blend over top of this because Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadows blend really, really well together. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, anyway, getting back on the topic of Carnival of Chaos, the craziest thing that happened is I, I didn't see, but I saw someone be taken away in an ambulance on Friday night because they overdosed on a mixture of 
LSD, shrooms, and DMT. Uh, DMT I know is kind of like a natural substance. I don't really know. I don't do drugs. Um, basically when I go to carnival I mostly drink. So I don't really know anything about drugs, but I know at carnival you see you see a ton of drugs, like you see people doing cocaine, LSD, shrooms, other crazy, really horrible, bad stuff. So it's it's one of those kind of music festivals, but you know, it's just one of those things that happens. So yeah, this guy was there and he took a little too much of everything and ended up overdosing. He kind of like started to seize out and then he was like gone and then he would come back and he would trip out so he would start running away. So they were like, okay, you know what, this is getting too dangerous, we're just going to call the hospital, get an ambulance here and have him taken away. He ended up being okay and he went home the next morning, but he just kind of overdid it. And then I was walking back to my tent the other night, or the next night, or no, it was the same night. Yeah, it was the same night, and we were kind of walking by, and there was this girl kind of like dressed like Alice in Wonderland, and she was rolling in the dirt, like she was like sitting in it, kind of like scooting her butt in it, and like touching it and she was like crying and she was like I'm not part of reality like just fucking gone tripping out of her mind and I'm like walking by and she's like telling everyone how she's no longer a part of reality it was like you have a good night girl like props to you <laughs> alright and then the next shade I'm going to take to kind of warm up the crease a little bit more is this one in the bottom corner and this one is called subtle so I'm just gonna take that on another little blending brush just take a small amount of that and just very lightly kind of start buffing that into the crease it was a really good time I absolutely loved it it's good times good people you meet a lot of really awesome people um, if you're a female, you definitely get hit on quite a bit. Me and my friend definitely had our fair share of creepy men, but, you know, what more do you expect when you're walking around half naked at a music festival? Am I right? But, yeah, it was fine. I'm there to have a good time. I'm not there to hook up with strangers, so I just respectfully tell them, like, okay, you have a good night. Like, leave me alone, please. <laughs> and they do. Everyone's really cool about it. Okay. Next, we're going to get a little bit crazy, and this is one of my favorite colors out of the palette, and I'm going to go in to this next shade right here, this very bright yellow, and this one is called Quench. Start packing it on the eye. Now, with this eyeshadow, I did find it is a little lackluster, as you can see. Like, it's not, like, as bright as it looks, like, on other people. So, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if I'm, you're supposed to wet the brush first or anything. But I just noticed, for me personally, it's a little, like, eh. So, I'm actually going to try to wet the brush and see if that helps. So, to wet it, I basically just use, like, some makeup setting spray. Okay. That helped a little bit, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the yellow like it is for now, and I'm going to move on to another kind of flat top fluffy brush, and I'm going to go in with... I feel like I'm going to mix a little bit of Taste Buds, which is this shade right here, and Beach right here, and kind of mix those two together, and kind of put that on the rest of my eye. So I'm just going to kind of like take the two of them, kind of do that little number, tap off the excess, and go to town. And don't worry too much about the yellow right now because I feel like we're going to have to touch that one up quite a bit. And then I'm going to go back in with that first blending brush that we use for subtle and I'm just going to kind of very lightly blend out the edges as I go. That way it's not super, super crazy or scary looking. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with a smaller little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with Taste Buds. Just take a little bit of that. And I'm just going to lightly kind of blend the yellow into the other pinks that we have on the eye. I feel like pictures that I see online of this palette, I feel like they are definitely facetuned because I feel like they're not showing up as intense for me as they are for other people. So I don't know if like I'm doing something wrong or if I'm just not skilled enough. Yeah, I'm basically just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, just trying to like build up the intensity a little bit. And I know like less is more, but like I want it to like pop. And I feel like I'm not getting there yet. So we're just gonna 
we're just gonna keep trying. Now I'm gonna go in with a smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go in with a mixture of these two colors right here. This one is Stroke and Kumquat, so I'm just gonna take a smidgen of those and very, very slightly bring that into the very outer corners, like the like little spikes out there. Spikes? <laughs> I suck at terminology, guys, just don't listen to me. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna leave the top of the eyes for now, and I think I'm gonna do just a little tiny bit of liquid eyeliner, and then we're gonna move on to the bottom lid. So for that, again, another CoverGirl liquid eyeliner, and I'm just gonna do the thinnest line I can possibly get. And I'm just going to start on the inner corner. Okay, so I think that's as good as the eyeliner is going to get. I probably like will fix it in a second. Yeah, because that side is way longer than the other. Okay, so the top lid was a little bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be. So hopefully... Now that we're moving on to the bottom part, we're going to be using more like blue shades from the palette. So what I'm thinking is we're going to use like these, these three shades down here. So I think we're going to try to make this work and then we're going to try one of the metallic shades in the inner corner and things like that. So, okay, let's try to dive into this. Um, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of eyeliner in my waterline, but I'm not going to do black because I really want the blues to stand out. So I think for the waterline, I'm going to go in with this NYC like natural eyeliner. These honestly suck and they're not very pigmented and they honestly kind of hurt, but I don't want to do black because that's not what we're going for today. I'm going to take a little bit of this dark brown shade and this is in the shade Drizzle. And I'm just going to take the tiniest amount and just kind of put this on the outer part of the eye just so we can kind of do like a dark to light kind of gradient, kind of like what we did with the top. Then I'm going to go in with this little brush right here and I'm going to go in with this bright blue in the center and this is called Submerge. I'm going to take a decent amount of this and I'm going to start hoping for the best and just kind of Very, very powdery shadows. I don't know what the deal is. But, I, like, see, it's not, like, how come everyone else online, theirs is, like, super intense, and mine, like, isn't? This is making me sad. Okay, what am I doing wrong? This is not what I envisioned at all. I want to know what drugs beauty gurus take to get their eyeshadow so perfect all the time. Like, I literally don't understand. Okay, we're going to try this again. I literally got my brush, like, wet. Like, wet, wet. Okay. That's working a little better. And then I'm going in with Splash right next to it. There we go. That's a little better. So the only thing I found that really helped with like the intensity is literally getting my brush wet with water, like water from my sink and uh, kind of packing it on like that. Like that's like the only thing I found that would give me the intensity that I wanted. So now for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use one of these metallic shades. Now these are super pigmented and very, very glittery. So you definitely don't need a lot. I just don't know what color I want to do. So I'm just going to take a little bit of both because why not? Fuck it, right? Right in the inner corner like so. Oh, God damn. Hey, girl. Okay, so I think the eyeshadow is done. <laughs> Even though I feel like this was kind of a fail. Like, I feel like it didn't work out for me all that well. So what I'm basically doing is I'm going back in with all the colors that we used. And I'm giving them one more final punch on the eye. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go in 
with my CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara, and I'm going to put that on the top and the bottom eyelashes. Okay, so here's what the eyes look like all finished up. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it. Like, I don't know, I feel like it didn't turn out as like, I don't know, I feel like it just didn't turn out like I wanted it to. So next we are going to do lips, highlighter, and then this whole chit chat get ready with me has come to a close. Okay, so just for highlighter real quick, I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost and Peach Goddess. This was the very first one I ever purchased from him, and this is still my all-time favorite. Okay, and then last but not least, we have lips. And a few days ago, I received a PR package from CoverGirl, and they sent me 48 lipsticks. They are the exhibitionist lipsticks. They come in metallics, demi-mattes, creams, all different sorts of colors. So I'm going to use one of them today in today's video. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a full dedicated swatch video or show it in a vlog. I'm not really sure, but they also came with lip liners. So this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner. And this one is in the shade 200 in the nude. And I am gonna be wearing a nude today. Just because we have a lot going on with the eyes, I don't wanna like overdo it. I don't want it to be like overkill. And then the lipstick that I'm going to pair with it is a cream lipstick, and this is also in the shade 230, which is cream, and it's just a really nice cream nude color. I just feel like it'll go really, really nice with this look. So first, I'm going to outline my lips with this. Here's what the lip liners look like. They are absolutely beautiful. They have a really good shape to them. Really easy for outlining the lips, so I'm just going to do that. And this is my first time using these, and they're honestly, like, really creamy. Like, I'm impressed. Like, a lot of my other lip liners are, like, really hard to work with, and they just, like, don't want to cooperate, but these are, like, really nice. Mmm, these smell good. They kind of smell like MAC lipsticks, so that's a good thing. So there's what that color looks like. These lipsticks are very, very creamy, very easy to apply. All right, and then last but not least, to set everything in place for the rest of the day, we need some setting spray, and it's another CoverGirl product, the Look Lockup Setting Spray. All right, guys, and here is an up-close view of what everything looks like, how it turned out. I'm not like 100% happy about how everything turned out. Um, I think it looks really cool. I love the way my skin looks. I love the I love the colorfulness. I just wish it was a, a little bit more intense. And I absolutely love the lip color. Like, it looks really nice. It's a nice nude. It goes really well with this overall look. So, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this chit-chat style get ready with me. Hopefully, I updated you guys on everything that you wanted to be updated on. If you ever want to know more about my life and what I'm doing, things like that, please watch my vlogs. I get very in-depth and very personal in my vlogs. I try to upload them as much as possible, so just always check my vlog playlist here on my channel. Again, don't forget to check out the links down in the description box for the Brienne Barbie phone case. Make sure you just stay up to date on that. But other than that, that's pretty much all that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you're hitting the notification bell so you are seeing my videos. YouTube likes to hide my channel from everybody, so just make sure you're checking back every so often because I do upload around every three to four days here on my channel. But yeah, that is everything. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in my next one. I love you guys. Bye!